English for teachers. Number six of part two. She khartti derke schooler niyom kanun baller juno niche English expression gulo bebhor korben. Let's get started. Miss Tan, repeat after me. Okay. And please, you do the same, my dear listeners. Ask for permission. Ask for permission. Be courteous to staff. Be courteous to staff. Be honest in assessments. Be honest in assessments. Be honest in group work. Be honest in group work. Be kind to others. Be kind to others. Be kind to substitute teachers. Be kind to substitute teachers. Be on time always. Be on time always. Be patient with others. Be patient with others. Be prepared for class. Be prepared for class. Be respectful during exams. Be respectful during exams. Be respectful during presentations. Be respectful during presentations. Be respectful in assemblies. Be respectful in assemblies. Be respectful in discussions. Be respectful in discussions. Be responsible for belongings. Be responsible for belongings. Be supportive of classmates. Be supportive of classmates. Complete your assignments. Complete your assignments. Complete your projects. Complete your projects. Follow bus safety rules. Follow bus safety rules. Follow cafeteria etiquette. Follow cafeteria etiquette. Follow evacuation procedures. Follow evacuation procedures. Keep your locker clean. Keep your locker clean. Listen attentively in class. Listen attentively in class. No bullying based on appearance. No bullying based on appearance. No bullying on buses. No bullying on buses. No bullying on social media. No bullying on social media. No bullying tolerated. No bullying tolerated. No cell phones in class. No cell phones in class. No cheating allowed. No cheating allowed. No cheating in exams, set two. No cheating in exams. No chewing gum allowed. No chewing gum allowed. No damage to school property. No damage to school property. No disruptive behavior. No disruptive behavior. No disruptive noises. No disruptive noises. No exclusion or isolation. No exclusion or isolation. No fighting allowed. No fighting allowed. No food in classrooms. No food in classrooms. No inappropriate content shared. No inappropriate content shared. No inappropriate jokes. No inappropriate jokes. Let me tell you a joke. That is Tanisha. Okay, yeah. Now number fifty-one. No leaving without permission. No leaving without permission. No littering, please. No littering, please. No name calling allowed. No name calling allowed. No plagiarism allowed. No plagiarism allowed. No running in corridors. No running in corridors. No running near stairs. No running near stairs. No skipping assessments. No skipping assessments. No skipping assignments. No skipping assignments. No skipping classes. No skipping classes. No skipping exams. No skipping exams. Set three. No skipping extracurricular activities. No skipping extracurricular activities. No skipping homework. No skipping homework. No skipping tutorials. No skipping tutorials. No swearing or cursing. No swearing or cursing. No teasing or mocking. No teasing or mocking. No unauthorized items bought. No unauthorized items bought. No unauthorized visitors allowed. No unauthorized visitors allowed. No use of drugs. No use of drugs. No use of profanity. No use of profanity. No vandalism tolerated. No vandalism tolerated. Participate in discussions. Participate in discussions. Pay attention in lectures. Pay attention in lectures. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. 
Respect cultural differences. Respect cultural differences. Respect personal boundaries. Respect personal boundaries. Respect personal space. Respect personal space. Respect the school property. Respect the school property. Respect your teachers. Respect your teachers. Share your materials. Share your materials. Stay in assigned areas. Stay in assigned areas. Set four. Stay in designated areas. Stay in designated areas. Stay seated during lectures. Stay seated during lectures. Take care of books. Take care of books. Use appropriate filters. Use appropriate filters. Use appropriate gestures. Use appropriate gestures. Use appropriate language. Use appropriate language. Use appropriate social media. Use appropriate social media. Use classroom resources properly. Use classroom resources properly. Use indoor voices. Use indoor voices. Use online platforms responsibly. Use online platforms responsibly. Use appropriate language. Use appropriate language. Use polite language. Use polite language. Yes, this applies for you, Tanisha. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She admits everything. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. And the next one. Use respectful gestures. Use respectful gestures. Use respectful greetings. Use respectful greetings. Use respectful tone. Use respectful tone. Use sports equipment responsibly. Use sports equipment responsibly. Use technology for learning. Use technology for learning. Use technology responsibly. Use technology responsibly. Use the playground safely. Use the playground safely. Use the restroom appropriately. Use the restroom appropriately. Walk quietly in corridors. Walk quietly in corridors. Now it's time for another story. Okay, so let's get started. Once upon a time, in a vibrant school, Teacher Yase had a diligent student named. Rajasri, on the first day of class, Yase addressed the students, saying, "Remember, always ask for permission if you need to leave the classroom." Throughout the year, Yase emphasized important values: be courteous to staff members and be kind to others. Remember, Rajasri, be patient with your classmates and supportive of their efforts. Yase also reminded the class. Be on time always, and be respectful during exams and presentations. Show respect during assemblies and discussions as well. Rajasri nodded, taking these instructions to heart. As the year progressed, Yase urged the students, "Be responsible for your belongings and keep personal items secure." Let's keep the classroom organized and maintain a quiet atmosphere in the library. Yase continued, "Complete your assignments and projects on time, and be honest in assignments and group work. And don't forget, Rajasri, homework is due tomorrow." When it came to safety, Yase reminded the students, "Follow bus safety rules and adhere to cafeteria etiquette." And in case of emergencies, follow evacuation and fire safety procedures. Yase emphasized the importance of lab safety, saying, "Follow lab equipment guidelines and lab safety rules, and registry. Ensure that your personal hygiene is maintained." To maintain discipline, Yase added, "Follow the dress code and the timetable strictly." And remember, keep the classroom and library quiet, respecting the learning environment. Rajasri eagerly embraced these instructions, determined to be a responsible and respectful student. With Yasa's guidance, Rajasri navigated the school year successfully, fostering a positive and supportive environment. <laughs> <laughs> 